welcome back to another tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make an enemy move and look towards the player when the player reaches a certain radius of the enemy and then when you get out of that radius the enemy will stop following the player so what I've got here is just a simple scene with a player with a top-down movement behavior and an enemy without a behavior so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the events and I'm going to make a new event I'm going to add a condition and I'm going to search for distance and you want to find distance between two objects or you could look in common conditions for all objects and then position I'm going to click on this and I'm going to choose if the player is in the radius of the zombie and let's say 200 pixels and so this will basically make a circle round the zombie of a radius of 200 pixels you won't see it but it will be there and so then I'm going to add an action and this is going to be a force and I'm going to do add a force to move toward an object the zombie is going to move towards the player and let's do half the player's speed and this is going to make the zombie move towards the player so now if we play it as soon as the player gets in the radius, the zombie moves towards the player. When the player gets out of it, it stops. So now we want it to rotate. And to do that, we can just search for rotate. Rotate toward position, zombie. The position will be player.x. And the y will be player.y. This is, uh, if you have nothing in here, then it will just be the same as zero, which is immediate rotation. So then we click play. And now as soon as we get in the radius, the zombie looks at us and follows us. As soon as we get out, he stops. So you can then expand upon this by having it so if you touch the zombie, then you lose some health. That was just a simple tutorial. I hope you found it enjoyable and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.